this is a $100 fish mystery box, and this is a $500 live fish mystery box. And today we're gonna be unboxing them to see which has the better fish and the best bang for your buck. Let's find out. Now we are gonna start right here with the $100 fish mystery box, and every fish we get out of this box will have its price shown, and we're gonna add them all up so the box gets a score at the end. So which box will have the overall better value, the $100 fish mystery box or the $500 fish mystery box? Place your bets down in the comments. Let me know which one you think is gonna have the best value, best bang for your buck. Now we have our display tank right here, and this is gonna be perfect for viewing all the fish. We can really make a final judgment on each box and see them all swimming around in here. And now the cheaper boxes, the $100 boxes, tend to usually be fresh water. So we're starting there, and the $500 boxes tend to usually be salt water. So we're starting here, we got this thing locked and loaded, ready to go with fresh water. I could be wrong, there could be a salt water fish in this, but just in case, we got some fresh water right here in our display tank, and we are loaded up and ready to go. Now let's take out the old trusty knife, and we are gonna get unboxing. Here we go. This is the $100 fish mystery box, much smaller than the $500 one, but hopefully we got some good stuff in here. We've been getting, we've been a little bit on a hot streak recently, getting some cool stuff, getting some cool fish for the ponds. We shall see what, ooh, okay. All right, we actually have decent bag. Oh, wow. All right, we actually have decent bags in here. Unlike the last time when we did this, we did another $500 versus $100 mystery box where we got kind of, we got kind of gypped out of a couple bags here. I think we only got one or two bags out of the $100 box. We got four bags in the $100 box and we are looking good. Let's start on box. Now starting off with a bag number one. Ooh, we have a lot of DOAs in here. These are decent sized goldfish. Just about one to three inches in length. No giants in here, but I'd say 50% of them are DOA. So that is never a good sign. We have uh, a couple pretty ones in here, some bright colors, some whites, some albinos, some bright oranges, but we got 50% of them at least DOA, which is an absolute bummer. You hate to see it. You always want to get fish. When you're hitting a live fish mystery box, you want to get live fish. That's kind of a bummer. Say for bag number one, we got about 50 goldfish in here. That's probably, I don't know, let's say two and a half bucks a dozen, 10 bucks. $10, okay, so box number one, $100, a $10 price for, for bag number one. So far, box one's not looking too hot. Bag number one is a total of $10. Let's get these guys in the display tank, really see what we're working with here. Man, whoever did this uh, rubber band is a freaking locksmith. I need a PhD in order to open this rubber band. Now let's get these guys in the respective display tank here so we can really see how many DOAs we have, let's see how many we have alive, okay. All right, that's not as bad as I thought. There's definitely some dead. Oh, it's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. We have a decent amount of live fish here. Now, what we are gonna do is go ahead and kind of get rid of all the ones that are uh, not alive, get them out of the tank, and we'll get the liveies in here, let them swim around and have a good time. DOAs, what a bummer. $10 bag for bag number one. We got some cool goldfish. It's not the price we're looking for. Let's keep on moving. Now we're on to bag number two for the $100 mystery box. So we're gonna go with this one right here. We actually got a decent amount of bags, so maybe we'll make a comeback from that $10, that $10 hit from the goldfish. We may make a come back here. We're gonna go with this bag right here. What do we have? This is, okay, this is actually a good fish. This is actually a good fish. Another freshwater fish. This is actually a good fish. This is the high fin. I forget the last word of the name. These are actually monster fish. They get huge. They get big. This one doesn't really have the greatest of colors. Usually they have really thick black stripes and kind of an orange top, but he doesn't have the best colors. Still a really cool fish and I'll take it. I'm gonna give him a $25, $25 value for bag number two. So we're up to a $35 value in fish so far. That's a a decent boost for box number one. We're gonna need this to keep going. We still have uh, 65 bucks left to climb to get that one to that $100 mark. Hopefully it keeps going higher and higher and we get that $100 value of fish. Right now we're sitting at 35 with this really cool high fin. All right, let's go ahead and get him in the display tank. All of our goldfish are swimming around like crazy. I think I got all the DOAs out. We got uh, about 40 actually. There's only like 10 or 15 DOAs. So that's not too bad. It's not too bad. It looks like we still got 40, maybe 50 in there. So decent. Now we're gonna get our high fin in here. who is super cool. Let's check him out. This is a good fish, $25 fish. That's a good fish. Here we go. There he is in the tank. He looks really freaking cool. That is a really cool fish. He gets absolutely massive. They get really, really big. I'm talking monster. They get monster level status. They get freaking huge. There you have it, our little mini monster for bag number two, $25 value. Let's go on to bag number three. We gotta pick up the value here. We're at $35 for box number one. Let's get into it. I see a monster in here that I'm gonna grab. He looks like a monster. Maybe it's just the bag like magnifying him, but he looks crazy. So let's get this guy out. 
who happens to be a giant crawfish. This guy is massive, absolute stud of a crawfish. He only has one claw though. He only has one claw. He's not blue. He's like red and green. So he's kind of like a basic kind of crawfish. You can get him in white, blue, red. This guy's more of a basic one. He looks just like a standard crawfish, but he is a megalodon, an absolute megalodon. I think we got a blue crawfish in our last one, but this guy is not a blue. He's a standard. And by my calculations, I'm going to have to give this guy 15. 15 bucks? Is that too much? Let me know in the comments. I, I'm going to give him 15 just because he looks like an absolute Brutus. We'll give him $15. We are up to a $50 value for box number one with only one bag left. There better be a $50 fish in that last bag. $15 value. We are up to 50 bucks. I might have to show you guys up close him out of the water. He does only have one claw, so you guys got to check this out. Oh yeah, his pincher's up and he looks ready to go. He looks absolutely ready to go. And there we have it, our craw. He's a big boy. He's, he's reaching back to get me too. That is a not a small craw, that is a big stud. That thing's a stud, he's only got one claw, but he's a Brutus. What an awesome little creature we got. Let's get him in the water here. Our little display tank, we're gonna put him right on top of the GoPro. <laughs> See what he does. Let's go. That thing is actually wild. That thing is actually wild. He's not blue. He's not white. People really like the blue ones and the, and the white ones, the electric ones, the one with all the funky colors, but he is not shabby whatsoever. He is a very cool crawfish. I'm really stoked about the craw and the hyphen snapper because I have an aquarium that these, are guys, that these guys are gonna go into and they're gonna do great. The goldfish, not too hyped about those. They're probably gonna get eaten by some of my fish here because they are technically just feeders, but the, uh, the craw and the hyphen, those are some awesome fish right there. We're up to a $50 value on box number one. We're shooting for a $50 fish in here to just break even on this box. Let's break even. Bag number four. Okay, this doesn't, this isn't gonna cut it. This isn't gonna be a $50 right here. That's for sure. These are just plain old rosies. Nothing special about them. No, more feeder fish. We got two bags of feeder fish. I'm gonna give these guys a generous $5 for a total value for box number one at $55. A 55% value. 55% pretty bad. That's failing. 55% for box number one. We got two bags of feeders. What are you going to do? It happens. This box, the crazy thing is, still could be better than box number, uh, than the $500 mystery box. You don't know until the fat lady sinks. It ain't over. Once again, I need a PhD or a engineering degree to get rid of this rubber band. All right, let's get these guys in. And there is our schooling fish. The good thing about these is I don't think we only have one DOA, which is a only one DOA in the tank. We have all of our box number ones in this tank and I am uh, enjoying this style. I'm enjoying this style where we put all the fish in a display at once. It looks really cool. You guys are gonna probably enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And these guys, uh, I would say, I would say we did all right. We did all right for box number one. A little bit worse than I expected, $55 value, but we'll take it. We will take it. Final tally, goldfish. 10 bucks, high fin, 25 bucks, crawfish, a generous 15 bucks, and rosies, a very generous five bucks for the grand total of $55. I hope I'm doing that math right. We move on to our $500 mystery box. This better be good. Now that we got those freshwater fish in their freshwater aquarium, we now set up the saltwater tank display tank here because, you know, every time I do these videos, when I get the expensive boxes, it's the saltwater fish. The theme has continued freshwater, cheaper, saltwater, more expensive. Let's hope this percent percentage of value is higher than the first box. And if you didn't know, we have done this video before, $100 versus $500 fish mystery box. And you guys absolutely loved it. You crushed the likes on that video. It has 5,000 likes. And because we're doing it again today, I want you guys to drop a like if you wanna see a $250 box versus a $750 box, and we can level up the prices as we go. So we start with the $100 versus the $500, then we can go to 250, 750, then we go 500, 1,000. Keep going from there until it gets to a million dollars and then I'll be bankrupt and homeless, but that's okay. We can do this. Let's get the trusty handy dandy knife out and get this $500 mystery box open. And I'm excited to see what's in this one. So make sure to drop a like on this video if you wanna see a $700 versus $250 mystery box. And here we go. Okay, all right, four bags again. This one's super deflated and has no air in it. So we're gonna go with that one first. Okay, so we're starting with this and this right here is an actually a cool fish. This right here is a sharp nose or long nose hawkfish. So we actually have a hawkfish in the saltwater pond. That's the pink one. And he's not this kind of uh, the long nose one. 
one. He's just like a regular hogfish, I guess. But this guy is a long nose and he is really cool. It almost looks like a peppermint, red and white, kind of like a peppermint shrimp. And uh, these guys aren't super expensive, but I think they are around, I'm gonna give this guy a $59 value. So $59 value for box number one. We have many more dollars to go to reach that $500 mark, but $59 fish, not too shabby. Let's go ahead and get this guy in the tank here. There he goes. In the aquarium, there he goes. There's his little display tank. He's in there, he's chilling, he looks great. Now, as we're checking this guy out and you guys can really see him in this tank, rate the first box A to, a to F, or F to A, rate it. Just for me down in the comments, rate it. Let me know what you guys think of box number one. But box number two, so far starting it off with a pretty good fish. This is gonna be great for the saltwater mini pond. And we're gonna put this guy in the saltwater mini pond once we uh, unbox all the fish. He's definitely gonna be a fish going into that pond because he is really cool and he's gonna be great for uh, brightening up the tank. I always like getting fish with lots of color. This is an A plus. For me, for bag number one. Well, I kind of messed myself up there with the uh, $59 evaluation because uh, now it's gonna be hard to do math. We're going with it, $59 evaluation. Now, the crazy thing about these boxes is, you know, we have our own Fish Guy Mystery Fishing Box, which is a, a box for fishermen. If you guys like fishing, that actually is a guaranteed $60 value that you're getting in the box, but you're only paying $39.99. And you can use code FGMB10 to get 10% off of your first box. So you're actually paying less. You're paying, you're actually paying less than $39 to get $60 worth of fishing tackles. If you're into fishing, go check it out. And just a heads up, we're also coming out with a really brand new box. It's gonna be a 1999 box for those beginner fishermen that don't fish as much and aren't as uh, advanced as the 39.99 fish guys. So bag number two, let's jump into it. Let's jump into it like a diving board. This, these bags are kind of deflated. So we're just gonna kind of go with the most deflated bag. And we're gonna go with this one right here. This, this is a sick fish. I don't know if he's expensive, but we haven't ever gotten one of these guys. This is a sick fish. This is a bright pink, Antheus right here, who's got insane colors. Pink, orange, he's like a, he's like a starburst. Uh, a Corona sunrise, that's what he's like. When you, you know, you get a Corona, you put a little tequila, you put a little orange juice, that's what this guy reminds me of. So we might have to name him Corona sunrise, but you guys let me know his name down in the comments. Drop a name for this guy, because this is a guarantee, whoa! And he's feisty, I need to be careful with that. He's a jumper. This guy is another fish that's gonna be going in the saltwater mini pond at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. This guy is absolutely sick. I'm stoked about this. He's not pricey, but this is already the winner for me in uh, in terms of cool fish. I don't know why. Freshwater fish don't do it for me. Saltwater fish are just so much cooler. And they're actually better in schools. So let me know uh, in the comments if you guys think I should get some more of these guys because they are better in schools. This guy, there's probably going to be fine on his own, but I should get some more. So let me know in the comments if you guys think I should, do, should get more. So I'm going to give this guy an $80 valuation because every time I go to the stores, especially the pink ones, the, the orange ones are probably like 60 bucks, but the pink ones are always like 80 bucks. So I'm gonna give this guy an $80 valuation for box number two, $500 mystery box. We are up to 80 plus 59. 139, 139, thank you, Jack. 139, and let's get him in the pond here. Or in the uh, display tank. This guy is so sick. That is such a cool fish, bro. That is actually, such a cool fish. I love that thing. That's my favorite fish of the day for by a mile. He is sick. He is just so dang cool. Those pink colors, yellow. He, he's a Corona Sunrise right there. 10 out of 10 fish for me. Not the price wise, but just being cool. That, uh, that has no price tag for me. That is one cool fish. And look how active he is swimming around. He's gonna do great in that saltwater mini pond. Now they are uh, kind of a delicate-ish fish, the Antheus. So I'm gonna have to keep a sharp eye on him, acclimate him really well, and uh, make sure he's all good for the saltwater mini pond because they are definitely a delicate, delicate fish. Okay, that was a very good bag. That was a very good bag for me. So far, we're starting off great. Price-wise, I don't even care. 10 out of 10s for me. Let's go on to the next bag, bag number three for the $500 mystery box. Here we go. Okay, all right, this is our first iffy one. These guys right here are just regular old blue damsels, bright blue, royal blue, but I'll take them. They're really cool fish. They uh, they do anything with color, dude. Like even this, this is like the goldfish of the uh, saltwater, but these are way cooler than goldfish. Look how royal blue those, those they're almost purple, yeah, like indigo. Good. Like straight up purple indigo, absolutely sick. So I'll take the goldfish of the sea right here all day over regular goldfish. Another great bag, but for these guys, I'm gonna give them a $30, 15 bucks each, $30 valuation. We are up to 169, 169. Stu's favorite number, favorite position. <laughs> shout out to 169, shout out Stu Finer, shout out fish, shout out mystery boxes. Here we go, $15 for two damsels. It's not bad, it's not bad. Uh, that's the valuation I'm gonna give them. They used to be five bucks each. Literally, oh no, those are green chromies. I don't know, I remember some fish used to be five bucks each. Now they're they're getting up there, so I, you know, inflation. Shout out Joe Biden, inflation. Let's get these guys in 
the display tank. Oh, we got some good color here, guys. We got pink, yellow, red, white, and now purple slash royal blue. Absolutely fantastic. I'm loving this so far. So much better than fresh water. Am I right? Okay, bag number four. We are at $169 value. We need a $300. And 31, $331 fish. I may not have a PhD. I may not be an uh, engineer, but maybe I can do basic math. We need this last bag to be a $330 fish. Is it likely? No, but we're gonna see the value of each box at the end of this percentage wise. The first bag, the first box I think was 50, 55% value out of that box. Let's try to get over 50% on this. So at least over $100 fish. All right, bag number four. What do we have here? Oh, that is a sick fish. That is a sick fish. This fish is sick, but he's not going in the saltwater mini pond. That's for sure. This right here is a spotted, I think a spotted sweet lips. Look at the colors on that. Maroon, yellow, and white. Like literally fire orange, fire yellow. So sick. So this guy's gonna have to go with the predator in the mini predator pond, but this guy is definitely not gonna be in the saltwater pond. Still a sick fish. Now the question is, price tag wise, what do we have for this guy? Still a sick fish. He's just so much better. Like I'm okay with getting a $500 mystery box and only getting this kind of value because just, I just love these fish. Okay. I'm okay with it. Okay with it. I do this. So you guys don't have to waste your money. This fish, I'm going to give an $80 valuation for this fish just because I don't even know if they're relatively easy to find. I don't know. I'm going to say $80 value. And that brings total value for box number two, the $500 mystery box to a $249 value. So we're going to go ahead and get this guy into the display tank so you guys can check him out. And then we're going to get these all in the pond. Make sure to acclimate them and get them all in their respective ponds. So here we go. You guys got to check this fish out. He is so cool. The colors on all these fish are insane. We have all colors of the rainbow. That is a spotted sweet lips right there who's a freaking beast. Look at that paddle tail on the back. He's got the fattest tail ever. They're super, they're not super aggressive, but they do love to eat like little ghost shrimp, stuff like that. So I may have to do a video of catching a bunch of the ghost shrimp and stocking that pond with it because these guys would just go absolutely ham. That is one awesome looking fish. Now we're gonna get these saltwater fish in their saltwater mini pond. Three of them are going in there. One of them is going in the predator tank. Now we're gonna run the numbers really quick. Box number one, the $100 mystery box has a 55%, a 55% value percentage. Box number two, the $500 box, the $249 value brings it up to a 49.8 value percentage. So technically box number one was the better bang for your buck money wise, but you guys let me know in the comments, which box would you decide box number one or box number two, which one would you choose? Which section of fish is better? I would argue box number two, maybe I'm biased. Let's get these guys in the pond. We're going to get them in all at once. All right. Now I only have this giant net, so we're going to work with what we got to here. I got the pink anthias and the hawkfish that are going to go in first. So sick. Couldn't really get the pink anthias because he swam off, but the hawkfish and the pink anthias are officially in the pond. Let's get these uh, blue damsels out. Here's one blue damsel going in the pond. Have fun in there, buddy. Oh, he wants to stay with me. Of course. Get out of here. Wait, you got to wait for your friend. Don't leave without your friend, bro. Don't leave without your friend. And here's damsel number two. Enjoy. Now I'm going to get the sweet lips in the predatory pond. He is a super cool fish. He looks fantastic and he's going to do great in here with his other fish guy buddies in this tank. Hey, you guys made it to the end of the video. You are the best. You must be very handsome and beautiful. If you guys want to see more fish guy, Chris content, click over here to watch some more videos. You will not regret it. You're going to love them. Go click over there. Watch those videos. See you in the next one.